So hey, Ferris Bueller, we're back. We're not done yet. And uh, it's me, Hide as Might, with uh, PC Pete yep. and Tits McGee. Yeah. And today we're back to just grab some of Bottle's special bonus, bitty bonus. Jeez, foods. sound a little more enthused, Bruh. please. Uh, we're just getting the Bottle's bonus mini games. The mini games themselves are. Uh, are rather tedious, but yeah, there's the goldfish that Mumbo was cooking. <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, there yeah. it is. Whoop. And then, uh, for some reason, it didn't trigger the bottles when I was right there. So you got you got to yeah, literally get finicky. you got to get right in front of it. But once you do, you're good to go. Oh, it's this painting. Yeah. There's the one. No, nope. no, no, nope, not yet. Uh... There we yeah. go. All right. Whoa! <laughs> so yeah, this is. Uh, I'm fairly certain this comes back in Banjo Tooie, where that's how you have to like unlock the worlds you play. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, yep. the mechanic. Uh huh. So this is where it started. And you get to watch all of it. All of it. With a dick so hard you can feel a puzzle come. Complete. You watching us solve oh. puzzles. You have to rotate the fucking pieces too. Not the, the hard ones, ones but yeah. yeah. Oh dear. So that's obviously gonna be around there. No. Well, it's an edge piece. No. No controller. Stop there. Yes. <laughs> I don't see your hand in the corner. Are you still doing this with one hand? Can you not tell? No. You may just have, you know, a special. The retardisms. How can you tell which one's right? Oh, never mind. Now I know how you can play off okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now I know how this game works. Yeah, this is an amazing final video. It took me 40 minutes of gameplay. Oh, gee, I wonder where this piece is gonna go. I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah. Hey, you did it. Wow, <laughs> look at that. It was easy, beetle breath. Yeah, I forget how many there are. There are either six Nine. or seven. Really? I think so. Jesus. I don't think there's that many. Uh, yeah, I thought there were more. It's funny because the, there are all these bottles bonus number. What does bottles bonus one give you? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh. Go figure this out yourself. I don't play video games. This was more fun than fun to get a phone with your dick or some suck a stick all day. Dedication. Anyways, I mean, it's... Welcome to video games. Each one is from a different level. Really? I know tigers have the same color uh, skin as their fur. Really? Yeah. The tigers are also boss as fuck. I know, the only thing I know about tigers, they're the biggest cats that purr. And that alone makes me want like 20 tigers. <laughs> Just saying. What do you want? I want something that could quite probably kill me in my sleep. But no, but it's a tiger! It's as long as you're not like a little bitch, it'll just claw at your face and you'll be like, UGH! And then you punch it in the face and then you wrestle each other. So what you're saying is you're Mike Tyson, you endorse this message. I thought you were gonna go with like, so long as you're a little kid, you'll be fine. Just getting all sorts of shenanigans with it. Yeah, Calvin and Hobbes status. No, yeah. that's all you have to be with a tiger. And you'll be fine, as long as you act like so, a little kid. So long as it's purring constantly, you're good to go. So long as you feed it, this is all you wanted. It. As long as you give it tuna sandwiches, it's okay. To be fair, I've been told that's how I am. So long as you keep me fed, it'll be okay. <laughs> Please post a sandwich to this web zone. Please, I am pretty hungry. Alright, so this is the first rotated one, I think. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a rotated one. I would not give this to the most mature person alive. <laughs> would that make me the most mature person alive? No. I think that'd make you the most immature person alive. No, that's my dad. I like your dad. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of a weird statement. What, you talking about that gay porn shit? Apparently. Trying to fuck my dad? What? I ain't trying. Apparently. Huh? My dad don't How play. Did you find my out? dad what? don't play like no. He's straight up Polish. You, he finds out you're gay. He will lynch you. <laughs> That's just how they roll. No, to the internet, my dad won't actually lynch you if you're gay. He'll probably just call you a f and then drink a lot of beer. 
Like us, close to comment actually. <laughs> Please post a comment on this webzone if you want my dad to call you a fat <laughs> and then drink some beer. <sighs> Fuck bottles. That's what I'm taking away from this. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, it's the first thing they do. They're just do. running into a corner! <laughs> like, whoever's playing the game is running into the darkest corner in the room! Spoiler alert, that is the first thing they do in Banjo Tooie. Like, oh, death to bottles. That's true. Like, here's here's your reward for be beating all those puzzles in the last game. We'll kill them for you. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I thought that the Zuma one was next. It turns out it wasn't. So there's more. Oh boy. Level five. Don't get player. too excited. Oh, there's a tip top. Yeah, tip top choir. <sighs> Oceans. Ocean though, right? Yeah, turtles go live in the ocean. Oh, this is the worst one because there's like a million turtles, you can't tell which one's which. That piece I'm not gonna s I'm, I don't want to admit that I can recognize which color for the turtles was where. It's safe to admit it, you're fucking playing Banjo Kazooie on the YouTube. That's true. It's safe to admit that you know a lot about the game when you play it one fucking hand in the entire game, including all the secrets, the end, all the bonus shit, 100% completion, uh, spent two hours at Rusty Valdez Bay. It's pretty safe to admit that you know every single turtle here. Yeah. No one will blame you for it. Post a comment on this webzone if you blame them for it, <laughs> so I can come to your house and rape you. It may not be raped. Spoilers! Spoilers, you're getting raped. Spoilers, you're gonna like it. So, it's it's not raped, I guess. I so, post a comment on this webzone if we have permission to rape you. Spoilers! Uh, you'll, your body has a natural defense mechanism. It's, a it's called taking it! No, but you can't get pregnant if... Yeah, if, if you're I, I, was, I was going with, with that. That political gaffe. <laughs> That like, just ends so, so one got like a little bit too who, drunk. Who said that? I forget who it was. It was some senator. Or some <laughs> senator like actually said. Yeah. And that backed like, up with science. They tried to back it up with science. Tried to back it up with scientific evidence. Everyone that, was like, like bullshit. somebody who gets raped, their body will actually like shut down, and they can't get pregnant as a natural defense mechanism to rape. I mean, that's true in like. No. What? No, not even lions. No, it's just not true. No. <laughs> no it's, it's just completely false. It's true in ducks, because they have corkscrew vaginas and dicks. And if a duck doesn't want to get raped, it'll change its corkscrew vagina in the opposite direction of the other duck, so it's like impossible to... So what we're saying is PCP knows a lot about raping ducks. No, I know a lot about... Seven gram rocks? That's how I roll. Damn, son! Winning. <laughs> oh, we, we need a new person like that to hate. What happened with Charlie Sheen? Did he die? He just already? fell off the map. He That's has all. some new show or something, and no one gives a shit about him anymore. All I know is he like tried to do like a sort of cooking show thing. <laughs> that Where was he actually real. So you're gonna put the cocaine directly inside the flour. You have to. That's essentially that what it was, slow. and like. It was like, he ended up cooking the steak with like cigarette butts ashed into the fucking steak. And then he's just like, and like I mean shoot out of the fucking, his eyes into the steak. And then it turns out to like a beautiful steak. He's like, now we had the secret ingredient, winning. Steak. Okay, that sounds like it's a YouTube video. It's yeah. a YouTube video. Okay. It's a YouTube video by Charlie Sheen. By the way, I don't like Charlie Sheen at all. Does anyone really? He ruined Platoon for both me and Hide His Mike. That's true. That is very true. Platoon was an excellent, phenomenal movie. And Charlie Sheen was just terrible in it. Absolutely god-awful. Shouldn't you be in, like, Bill and Ted's bogus journey or something? Seriously. The guy that should have been in fucking Platoon was the guy that was in Apocalypse Now, actually. He would have been an excellent match for Platoon. Or I haven't, like, who... I don't about? know who was in Apocalypse so now. long. I don't know who it was. Who it was. Well, I'm talking about right. the main guy who, like, broke the mirror during the whole Doors thing. Oh, okay. This is the, uh... Okay. 
Plus the counter he, on the one zone. He would have been amazing in Charlie Sheen's role, but like as a younger version of him before he became jaded. If Platoon was a prequel to fucking Apocalypse Now, holy shit, that would have been amazing. Mind blown. Done. But unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, Charlie yeah, Sheen is just an asshole. A little bit. A little bit. Isn't that his, like, charm? His charm is I'll admit, though, charm. he was okay in Wall Street. He was a competent actor in Wall Street. I never saw Wall Street. It's okay. It's an okay movie. It's worth a watch. Because Michael Douglas is pretty good, actually. I remember reading that Michael J. Fox was actually made... Like, his real name is actually Michael Douglas, but... He was there renamed when he started acting. No, like, that's his real name, but he was like, well, fuck. Like, there already is Michael, Michael Douglas. Douglas. Yeah. Michael J. Fox. And then he got his Parkinson's appeal. Yeah. Oh, I'll try and beat my name. God punished him for it. Did you see the fucking Return to Back to the Future, like, teaser thing they did? Like, the 20th anniversary? They oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a little video of, like, Back to the Future, and it's... Michael J. Fox in the fucking Back to the Future Marty McFly outfit. He's in the DeLorean. He's driving it. He stops. And on that note, we're all done here. Thank you for joining us for this extravaganza through the entirety of Banjo-Kazooie. I'm Ida's Mike with Ida's Mike Productions. Keep in touch with yourself, San Diego.